Hi, welcome to day 36 of the Restoration Fitness 90 Day Healthy Habits Challenge. The topic of the week is intervals, and for today we're going to be talking about high intensity intervals, which is another form of what we talked about yesterday, the Tabata interval. Obviously to the Tabata interval is a very specific protocol. Today we're going to talk more in generalities about intervals themselves. I said recommend starting anywhere between 30 and 60 seconds for your work ratio and at least equal rest. The idea here is that we're giving ourselves enough rest to be able to recover, to go at another high intensity, but that we're able to sustain these cycles for slightly longer than we would with something like a Tabata interval. So for instance, after doing about a three to five minute generalized warm up, where you're working at a very moderate intensity, you get in a little bit of dynamic stretching to start out your day with a good lengthened, good muscle tension ratio to be able to prep your muscles for exercise. What we're gonna do next is go into our cycles of work to rest ratios. So for instance, we might start with 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So we have equal work to rest ratios. Now, the shorter your rest compared to the amount of work that you're doing, as far as time goes or intensity goes, obviously the harder it's going to be to sustain your work ratios over time. So this is something to think about when you're thinking about how long you're gonna be able to, to do the actual cardiovascular session of, circuit tra of interval training. The idea we want to start with here is to be able to get you to about 15 to 20 minutes of consistent on-off circuit or intervals. So if we're starting with a 30 second on, 30 second off ratio, obviously we're doing one cycle a minute. So it's going to give you 20 cycles total, which is quite a bit more than the eight that the Tabata interval, intervals actually recommend. But the idea here is we're working into a little bit more cardiovascular endurance instead of just purely uh, more of the high intensity form. They're still going to be pretty tough and you're going to have a hard time finishing it the first time you get through. But it's extremely great for your cardiovascular system and the idea again is that you're able to get into higher intensities which means higher workload on your body and a higher need for EPOC which is what we talked about a couple of days ago or excess post-exercise oxygen consumption which burns calories after you're done with your workout. So starting with anywhere from 30 seconds on to 30 seconds off, anywhere up to about 60 seconds on to 60 seconds off, any ratio in between and trying that for at least 20 minutes or so, actually about 15 to 20 minutes total. And then of course you'll finish with your, with your cool down. It's a great way to get in a lot of work in a very short period of time. And it's a super interval, it's a super way to try to change up your routine, especially if you're used to doing about 45 to, minutes to an hour of steady state cardiovascular activity. Give it a shot, I think you'll like it, thanks.